that interstate standoff. A suicidal gunman leading police on a wild chase stretching several counties all started with a Facebook Live in Pontiac had ended with a standoff on I-75 in Monroe County. The man even calling the 7 Action News Desk in the middle of it all, and for the first time, we're hearing the 911 call that sparked it all. What exactly is he saying on Facebook? Well, he said, he said something about 13, after 13, and it was gonna happen, and he, everybody was gonna watch a suicide happen. I don't know exactly what 13 was, and just keep me updated with what he's saying on Facebook, okay? We're trying to... Okay, he said he's got 12, 12 beers left, and after, the, after that, then he's going to shoot himself. Seven investigator Jim Kirchner in Monroe County, where people say all of this was simply too close for comfort. This was a five-and-a-half-hour-long standoff right here in the middle of I-75. People who lived nearby had a front-row seat. Many drove on overpasses. And some were so close they could hear police negotiators trying to talk the man out. We were close. We were closer than we should have been, by all <laughs> means, I'm sure. Another neighbor stood on top of this camper to watch. State police say the man was inside a car with a rifle and had tinted windows. Very unpredictable. Police would later escort people out of harm's way and tell them to stay out of sight. You were too close. Yeah, oh, I think. He had a rifle. You could have been shot. Uh, I mean, that kind of, you know, went through our mind, but I figured if we were low enough, if something happened with all the police officers there, I figured we were, you know, okay. The entire incident started during the overnight hours with the suicidal gunman on Facebook Live in Pontiac, then again on the road here in Monroe County. He even called the 7 Action News desk while on the road. That he was going to hurt himself, hurt law enforcement, and Channel 7 did the right thing and gave us a call and gave us that information. The standoff lasted more than five hours and shut down I-75 in both directions in Luna Pier. It ended with a trained negotiator telling the gunman his life was just as valuable as everybody's. So our negotiator was able to establish communication with the individual and through some good old communication skills was able to get the individual to sur surrender peacefully. The gunman will spend the night in the Monroe County Jail and be in front of a judge tomorrow morning to face two charges, fleeing and resisting arrest. In Monroe County, Jim Kirsten, 7 Action News. Cliff